Hey everyone, this is Darko. In this video I'll share with you recommended picture modes and how picture settings menus look like on Samsung's 4K UHD TV series from 2022 TV lineup, specifically models with BU in their name. This is BU8072, but these settings are also applicable to BU8500 or other variants depending on the market or other models from BU series that Samsung might release until new TV lineup. I'll start with tip number one, which is ensure that your TV is working in home mode. To do that, first we need to open settings menu. And to open it, there are different options. You can press home button, go to the left, to the menu, settings, all settings. Alternatively, you can press button with settings one, two, three, and three dots on it. And you will see this menu in the lower part of the screen. If you go up, you will again see all settings. The third option is if you long press the same button, you will then see this shortcuts menu and here also you have access to settings. Finally, fourth option is to use Bixby voice assistant. So let's see how that works. Open settings menu. As you can see, it takes quite a bit for this to be processed. But finally, we are in the settings menu. Now you need to go to general and privacy, system manager, usage mode. And here ensure it is set to home mode. And this is protected by the pin, which you set during initial installation. Now that we have TV in home mode, let's use the best performing picture presets. So using calibration equipment and test disks, I measured all picture modes and based on my measurements, the best ones for general content, which is live TV, movies, TV shows, streaming and so on, are either movie or filmmaker mode. And this applies to standard dynamic range and high dynamic range content. For gaming, there is a game mode that you need to activate for the lowest input lag. And again, that applies to SDR and HDR content. Now to change picture mode, let's press settings button on the remote. And here, if we go to the right, you see picture mode icon. By pressing OK button, you are switching between different modes. TV comes in standard picture mode, but this one is not accurate. And my recommendation is to use either movie or filmmaker mode. To enable game mode, you need to go to the right. And here you have icon, which will enable game mode. Or set it to automatic, which will trigger HDMI ALLM function, so TV will detect gaming content and switch to game mode automatically. The next tip is related to brightness. Usually when people go from standard to filmmaker or movie mode, they are complaining that picture is too dark, colors are dull, not interesting, not dynamic. You have flexibility to adjust this the way you want. So tip number three would be adjust brightness related controls. To do that, first let's go to all settings and I will show you where you can turn on and off ambient light sensor. So if we go to general and privacy, power and energy saving, here you have brightness optimization. If you enable it, T we will analyze and measure brightness of the room lighting and adjust it so that brightness is appropriate for your environment. You can also adjust minimum brightness, so how low you want the TV to dim the picture. My preference is to disable this control and to manually adjust brightness in the picture settings menu. 
We also have brightness reduction and motion lighting, but I prefer to keep those settings turned off as well. Now, if we go to picture, expert settings, here we have brightness option, so you are free to decrease it or increase it as you wish. In addition to brightness control, you can also change gamma. If we go down, you have gamma control for SDR you have BT.1886 or 2.2 value but only if you select this one then you can tweak it as you wish. What is also important and you can check this by using free test patterns or test discs available online are contrast or white level and shadow detail or black level controls. So there are specific test patterns. I will put links in the description that you can check on your unit. Are these settings correctly adjusted? Usually white level or contrast control is set to high. So highlight details are clipped. So you want to reduce this value a bit. The next tip is related to white balance and colors. Good news is that this is already adjusted very accurately in movie and filmmaker mode and unless you have calibration equipment to measure colors and white balance, you don't need to do anything here. Just to show you that you have color control which adjusts saturation of all colors. Then color tone which sets white point to different positions from cool so a lot of blue in picture to warm to which is closest to the reference D65 white point. White balance here you have two point or bright and dark adjustment and 20 point settings. And finally we have color space settings. I recommend auto so the TV will automatically map colors but if you have equipment you can select custom and then adjust primary and secondary colors. However, on my unit with latest software update, color space controls were not working properly, so I was not able to further improve colors on this unit. And finally, let's talk about sharpness and motion. Sharpness is adjusted with sharpness control. Neutral sharpness without any artificial sharpening is zero, but for lower resolution content, standard definition or HD, you might want to increase it a bit. Again, it's up to your taste how to adjust it. Related to other controls in picture clarity settings, you have auto and custom. Here with custom, you can enable judder reduction, which is soap opera effect in movies. LED clear motion, which is black frame insertion, which will darken the image, can introduce flickering, and I haven't seen improvement in motion resolution, so I don't recommend this to be used. And finally, we have noise reduction. This control only has automatic mode, and it will reduce everything from compression artifacts of digital signals to film grain. It's effective, but keep in mind that it also reduces the amount of details you see in picture. And with this, we've come to the end of this video. As you saw, picture options are exactly the same as we had last year, except now we have latest version of Tizen OS with full screen home menu. Picture quality is decent and it will satisfy most users. There are picture controls which you can use to tweak motion, sharpness, uh, calibrate if you have necessary equipment. If you have Samsung's BU series, let me know in the comments section how do you like it, which picture mode are you using, are you happy with gaming performance and so on. And that's it, have a nice day and I'll see you soon in my next video.